One of the things you may want to do early on in searching this resource is to create an, an account. So if you notice in the upper right hand corner, there's an option to register or log in. To register a new account, you just provide your first and last name. I always use my institutional email, so the Lincoln Land email, and then I give myself a password. I have already logged in, created this account, so I'm going to return as a user, click login. And now what I have is the options that I had before. I can go into the health reference series online. But by logging in and creating an account, I have a couple of different features within this system that are available to me that I would not have if I had not logged in. And I'll talk about one of those in just a, just a minute. The Health Reference Series Online is a collection of print resources that are available online in full text. The titles of these books are available and listed on the left-hand side. So you'll see there's one on abuse and violence information for teens, aging, alcoholism, anxiety disorders, asthma. It goes through a series of different health topics. Some of these are diseases. Some of them are disorders. Some of them are just related to uh, health in general. And you can scroll through these and pick the one that is most relevant to your particular research need. It's just like going to a bookshelf and selecting a title based on the, the title on the spine. If you would like to click on one of these, you say, oh, I'm really interested in allergies. You may select that source book. What it will do is to the right, it will bring up the book. It'll show when it was uh, published, in this case, August 31st, 2018. It tells you how long the text is. 572 pages, and it gives you a sample of the table of contents, which you can then view in full by clicking the view full table of contents button. Give that a minute to pull that table of contents up. And what you have available to you, I'm going to walk you through quickly the types of information that are available in these source books. Typically speaking, your introduction to the disease or the disorder will begin the the source book. So in this one, it says part one, introduction to allergies and the immune system. Chapter one is about understanding the immune system. Chapter two is how allergies develop. Chapter three is about breathing problems and allergens. And you can see that th this source book has a lot of sections, a lot of chapters, and a lot of sub chapters. If you're interested in any of these, for instance, I'm interested in uh, sinusitis, and I'm interested in the risk factors, you could click on that it would take you into the text itself and show you the full text of that resource in that particular chapter. If you would like to search across all of these titles, so for instance, let's say we're interested in coronavirus, I were to type that search term in the search box and click search to the right, it will perform the search across all of those different titles and bring up a list of results. Some of these will be from the same source book. So this is from Emerging Infectious Diseases source book, as is the second one. But the third one is from the Environmental Health source book. And so what you have is it's going through all of the source books on the left-hand side, and it's pulling up a list of collected results. Let's take a look at one of these results. Let's look at the first one, Human Coronavirus Types. It was published in May of 2019. And by clicking the title, it should take me into the full text of the resource. If it glitches like that, let's try this again and see if there's a, there we go. Something happened where it glitched on us, but that's okay. We'll just be patient and we backtrack and try it again. So here I have this entry. It's under part two, types of emerging and re-emerging infectious diseases. And I have the information available to me here. If I would like to view this as a PDF, I'm able to do that using this view as PDF button. And over to the right, I have some options for printing and saving. The third one down, it says add citations. And this is a very helpful thing to have. This is why you need to log in. It defaults to MLA, but I also have APA available. And I can click on save, or I can click on copy, and it would be useful to me to then paste that into my Works Cited page. And that is a basic overview of this resource. Good luck. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact a Lincoln Land librarian.